right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever huh. felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that problem johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about Three. to get underway. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, switch kick. Nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, and this guy has done his technique thousands of times. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Unable to connect with a right hook. All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you see? Too much respect, and you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching friends. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on over the course of the last eight weeks of the fight camp. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. 
to the body and it lands. Three minutes in our opening round. Keeps a jab there. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice, nice hook. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Push kick there to the body. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Unable to land with that punch. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, how good is his right hook counter? So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Both guys appeared to land there. That was a big check. with the jab on the counter. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I thought he'd tap and do the strikes. I mean, point. he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. You don't tap the strikes, you go Never. to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations together just so beautifully. I don't know what he can do to try to change it. Back to the jab now. Round two straight ahead. The striking game isn't looking too sharp right now. Let's play the grappling game. You gotta protect yourself. Keep your hands high. Cut those angles. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angle. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, nice hook. Both fighters throwing heat now. Moving to his left now. Leg kick lands.
outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice kick. It's work, guys. Come on. Out of range with that one. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Right on the button. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Just over two minutes to go. Connected with a solid strike there. Nice punch to the head. Good work, guys. Come on. Oh, the high kick lands. Nice strike there, and... Oh, that appears to have opened him up. Cut man's getting excited yeah, already. I mean, these guys are here to work. I mean, these guys don't want to just sit around and watch. They want to come to work for their money. And tonight, the cut man's going to have to work for his cash because that cut can get nasty. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. 30 seconds now to go in the round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. 15 seconds to go. Oh, and the oh. sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight.
tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Big inside kick. Hands on your face. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, another inside leg kick. Those are starting to pile up. Just a slip there. Whiffs on that offering. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You gotta watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. but just misses there. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. And now some separation. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Circling towards the left now. Good stick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Oh, nice takedown defense. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight night. Oh, oh, this could do it. Nice kick to the bottom. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if 
this guy won't do it himself. Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything in 10 minutes. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Lands a quick jab. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight too more often. He needs to. Ooh. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Solid kick lands here. Just over three minutes to go. He missed with that jab attempt there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Nice straight punch. Fighter lands a left hand. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Two minutes now to go. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Push kick there to the body. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Great punch. Oh, Back to his feet. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Lands with the lead right hand. Just missed with the leg kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. 40 seconds left. You gotta dig deep here. That's a big strike right there. 
Final seconds of the round. Oh! Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. 20 down, five to go. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Who's gonna be blood? This cut, though, you know he's going after it. Protect. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, the strike. Ooh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. And back to his feet. Nice block. Nice body shot. Circling away towards the left now. Slow kick is there. And doing work with the jab. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Back to his feet. Nice jab. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as a person. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and s changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you 